Hello everyone, this is Colonel S, and welcome to another redstone tutorial video. Today we are going to be building a color combination lock, which can be very useful for protecting your stuff against people who want to steal it. If we just look on over here, this is what we're going to be building. We have our colors in the front, we have our button that switches them, and then we have our output line over here. The redstone back here is not that hard to build, I'll be showing you how to build it. This is four modules repeated over and over again, so I'm just going to be showing you how to build one slice of this, and then you can repeat it on your own. Before we start the tutorial, I would just like to say that if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. It's completely free, and it helps out a ton. To start off this lock, you're going to need seven different colored blocks. I personally would use concrete just because the colors are very distinct. And the colors I have chosen are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and magenta. So what we're going to do, starting with our first color, we're going to put it right here. Then we're going to switch to a new color, go right here, and then continue like this in this pattern. We're going to go four blocks up here, and then we're going to come down one and place the last two right here and here. Our next step is to put glass right next to every one of these blocks. This will be important later in the actual system to determine which color is the correct one. For the rest of the build, you're going to need these materials that you see in my hotbar right now. To begin, we're going to come up to the top here, where we're going to place two pistons facing inward toward the top block like I have right here. So the pistons are going to be facing this way, lined up with this top block. Then, we're going to come over here, and we're going to place two downward-facing pistons here and here. They should be in line with these blocks. Then we're going to come all the way down to the bottom, place two inward-facing pistons right there and there. And then we're going to dig a hole right here, and a hole right here, and place upward-facing pistons. So they should all be in line with where, with where the blocks will be. The wiring for these pistons will begin by placing two redstone dust right here, a block right here, a block right here, another block right here with a repeater on top of it set to two ticks. Then we're going to come around here, place a block here and here, and then put redstone on top of all of these. Next thing we're going to do is come down here to this piston. We're going to place an observer right here. A block right here, redstone dust here and here. Then we're going to come here under the piston. We're going to place a two tick repeater right here. And then we're going to dig out these two blocks right here and place two redstone dust. Our next step is to come back over here. And on the third block down from this block, we're going to place an upward facing sticky piston with an upward facing observer on top of it, so the arrow should be facing up. The next thing I'm going to do is build the viewing window for the lock, so that they can only see the color currently chosen, and not anything else. So this is how you do it, you just build a simple square around it, and then you can put a button right here to activate it. And then all the colors will cycle on through. Now all we have left to do is to make the output system that determines whether it is the right color or not. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the front and set it to the color that you want to be the correct color. Right now I have it as blue, so I think that's what we're going to make the correct color. You're going to want to come over here to this observer, place a comparator facing this way, a block in front of it, a torch in front of that block, and then over here we're going to have a redstone line that goes out three like this. Then you just have to put redstone on top of it. Now to fully set our combination lock here, we need to place a chest behind this comparator, and then we need to put any item inside the chest. As you can see, that comparator will turn off this torch, which will turn off this redstone line. With this color combination lock design, you can stack it next to each other as many times as you want. Just make sure that the redstone line in the back is not longer than 15 redstone. If it is, you're going to have to put a repeater in one of these two spaces here. Just make sure it's not in front of the torch. So as you can see here, I've built this four times right next to each other. And in the back right here, all the redstone is also right next to each other. Very compact, very nice looking. And then all this line right here, 
it should all connect up. And then at the end of it, you're going to want to have a repeater going into whatever door or contraption that you want. So over here, I just have them all set to blue, 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 because that's just what the first one was set to, so I just kept it. So these are all correct, so this, this should be off right now, but if I change just one of them, the redstone lamp will turn on because the code is incorrect. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment below what you would like to see me build next. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and it helps out a ton. I'll see you all in the next video.